for our settles. Today we're in Mompox. It's a town that's nearly 500 years old. It's located 270 kilometers upstream from the Caribbean coast of Colombia. Pirates and colonialists were causing havoc all over the place. So Mompox was created as a refuge to that chaos, a place of peace and tranquility that lives on today. A place to protect treasure, gold and silver, and that's why the art of filigrana, buying jewelry, is a highly skilled trade here. And for centuries, it has inspired people to create artists, poets, writers, and musicians. This weekend, I'm here to celebrate musicians coming from all over the world for the Mompox Jazz Festival. There's also a fashion show from a designer who's from this town. Let's do this. Breakfast, I've got some patacones, some eggs, and a drill. So I've been catching myself walking at Bogota speed. Uh, and I'm reminding myself of some advice given to me by Richard McCall, who is a hotelier uh, here in Montpox. Think about engaging with the people from here, the silver filigree jewelry. Go into the Escuela de Taller to see some of the young people working in carpentry and in clay work and so on. Go out bird watching on the Cienegas near here and over from the Magdalena River. Walk through the antiquated streets as if it's an open air museum. <laughs> There's actually seven churches. It's a very religious location, which means Easter is a very, very big deal here, which means it's time to go to church. I found a nice coffee and now it's time for more church. Australia. Australia. Yeah. What's your name? Eh, Gabriel Gutierrez. Gabriel. ¿Qué debo saber del cementerio? Eh, allá encuentra usted el de la poesía negra, Candelario Oeso Hernández. Okay. Un sanguinario. Una sí, el poeta. Sí, sí, un sanguinario que se llama Hermógenes Maza Lobo Guerrero. Okay. Sanguinario como bueno habían dos. Le volaba la cabeza a los españoles. En el aire. Okay. Y dentro de la de la de la vaina sí. usaba nori nori money money ok cuando ya tomaba ron uh -huh. iba a pagar tiene que sacarla no me debe nada mi general no me debe nada porque me está aquí ni me va a borrar la cabeza 
claro. Amarillo, ¿ya? Ron Corrido. Tres esquinas. Tres esquinas. Tres corners. Bueno, bueno. Ah, sí. So I think to embrace life, you must embrace death. Um, so I'm in the cemetery in Mompox. Colombia has been through so much pain, so much trauma, that art, culture, music, dance uh, is a way to express that pain, to leave that pain, and to evolve from that pain. In Mompox today, I see beauty, I see joy, I feel inspired. Culture is a way that we preserve ideas that will live on longer than each of us individually. Case in point, cheers to those who have made it possible to bring happiness to the heart uh, using musical notes. Happiness through music. And that is what I think the Festival of Jazz here in Mompox is all about, bringing happiness through music. And it's not just jazz, there's salsa, there's tropical, there's cumbia, there's vaginato, there's all kinds of music here that will make your heart happy. La Plaza de Libertad? Ah, Calvone. Ah, sí, sí. Stay hydrated out there, guys. Nice little dinner here in the plaza in Mompox. Okay, so this is a basic level accommodation that you'll find in Mompox. Obviously, during Semana Santa Jazz Festival and December, you're gonna get some premium rates. Uh, these places are like hundreds of years old, I think 300 years old in some cases. So uh, I think the average height was a bit lower back then. <laughs> And this is what you can expect if you're coming through Bogota and you're gonna stay in one of our uh, furnished apartments. This one is actually located in Chapana Alto. The fourth floor is where you want to stay if you want some of those nice sunset skyline views. Chapinero Alto is always a safe bet if you're passing through Bogota. You've got great access to Zona T93 in the north and then your central Candelaria to the south. A very good choice for your next stay to Bogota or Medellin, Cartagena or Cali. Uh, check out sam.lifeafar.com to take a look at all of our options there. I think I've said everything I need to say uh, in this video. So make sure to click like, click subscribe. There's a lot of big things coming up this month. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Until my next video, I invite you guys to embrace your fears, the things that may be defining your life more than anything else. And that will allow you to embrace your dreams and embrace a life afar. See you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.